Hey, what's up guys? This is Vimal here and welcome back to TR HD. Today I'm back with a brand new drone video and this time we'll be reviewing the T36 Scorpion drone from a company named GoolRC. And before unboxing it, I want to thank TomTop for sending me this product for review purpose. The box looks quite nice. You got the GoolRC branding over here and a picture of the T36 drone on the box. This drone is available in two colors, yellow and red. I've got the red one. The main highlight of this drone is it's got headless mode and one key return to home function. The price of this drone is around 1000 rupees. That would be about $15. So let's start with the unboxing and check out the drone. In the box, you have the T36 drone and a remote control packed neatly. There's nothing else in it. You can see the drone from the top. Let's take it out. Below that, you've got a 2.4 GHz remote controller. There's some paperwork at the bottom. Oh my gosh, that's so many books. And all of them are manuals written in different languages. Make sure to read the manual guys before flying this drone. There's also a hidden packet over here. We'll just come back to that later. First let's take the remote controller out. From my first impressions, the build quality looks nice. I'll explain you all of its buttons and features in a moment. Let's check out how the quadcopter looks like. This is the T36 drone. The body is completely made out of plastic. And you can see the Ghoul RC branding over here. This drone weighs about 20 grams, so it's super light. This drone comes with a 150mAh lithium polymer battery. There's no on or switch on it. You just need to connect the battery to this port to switch it on. This is the remote control of the T36 drone. The analog sticks are of good quality. At the center, you've got an LED indicator, a forward and backward trim button, and a power on off button. At the left, you've got a high and low speed switch button. At the right, you've got a left and right trim button. The buttons feel clicky, but there seems to be a lot of play in the buttons. And at the back, you've got the battery compartment, where you need to insert three AAA batteries to power it on. Along with the drone, you also get this packet, which consists of a USB charging cable to charge the battery, a screwdriver to open the battery compartment on the remote controller, and a few spare propellers in case you damage the original blades that come with the quadcopter. Okay guys, now it's time to power on this quadcopter and take a flight test. I fully charged the battery with a 5V 1A charger and it took about 40-50 to 50 minutes for charging. There is no on or switch button to power it on. You just need to insert this battery connection in this port. And there you go, it's switched on. You can see the red and blue lights blinking. They look quite nice and bright. Let's just put it on the ground and pair it with the remote control. The remote control has two analog sticks. The left one is for throttle and the right one is for the direction. Let's switch it on. The quadcopter gets paired automatically with the controller and the lights stop blinking. This button is used to switch between high or low speed mode. I recommend you guys to select low speed mode if you're a beginner and new to drones. Okay then, let's go out and take a flight test. Smooth takeoff. This tiny little quad has amazing throttle power. Just look at the heights it can reach. The T36 has amazing control and great stability. It responds to my commands almost instantly. There's very minimal delay. This drone can also perform 360 degree rolls and flips. For that you need to press the right analog stick and then push it in the direction you want to do the flips. Be careful while doing these flips guys. Make sure you're at a good altitude before doing them. This quadcopter can reach great heights and the RC control distance is 30 meters. Be careful while flying high on windy days because this drone is so light it might easily get drifted away. The Scorpion T36 also has a headless mode. The headless mode can be toggled only in the high speed mode by clicking the left hand lock stick. And it works great. This micro quad is super fun to play with and comes with a price tag of only 1000 rupees. I'm telling you guys, you'll really enjoy flying this drone. The battery life is also good. On a full charge, you can easily get up to 5 to 6 minutes of flight time, and the charging time took around 40 to 50 minutes.
The one key return to home function also works good, but sometimes it lacks accuracy and has to be controlled manually. So that was my review on the T36 drone. It's an amazing drone priced around 1000 rupees and is available on TomTop. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.